all right guys for kage here and welcome back to the brand new video here we are again on black Clover mobile on today's video we're gonna do a complete guide related to the combat power how to increase your combat power really really fast what everything affects the combat power for each of those characters you have skills gear enhanced talents bond and costume Pretty much i believe custom doesn't affect uh, the combat overall combat power we're gonna double check that in a moment uh, but i want to explain you how you can increase the skills where to farm materials for the skills where to farm gear we're gonna check out just like slight beginner guides related to the gear still working on it trying to find the best thing so i'll make like a full gear guide enhanced part where you're duping the character talents bond extremely important with raising your bond you can lr the character which will give it the highest boost in the game and costumes costumes you can get by um, grinding the bond here okay so let me go from the beginning to the bottom okay skills skill pages of course you put them here you can also enhance the skill pages with the actual uh, duplicates of the skill page like that the character will become stronger and overall stats right and you get additional passive right here um okay the the, the breath of darkness is this uh, the um, yeah this is that additional passive uh, nevertheless let me go back to skills now you need to level up your skills right in the beginning you can just focus on the one character for now and then as you're gonna progress as you're gonna grind more and more you can expand that i would honestly recommend working on your dps character and leveling up the skills each of those skills uh, I, I level up mainly the ultimates because this will give me bigger overall damage but also skill two and skill one is definitely worth it maybe leveling it in balanced way is great thing and then at the end i would level combine attack in my opinion now where to grind the materials to level up your <clears throat> skills so we have shard of will we have um, fragment of will and then we have a crystal of will from level one to level two i believe you only need this then to level two to level three this one and then to level four or something like that you also need you also need crystal of will there is two ways to grind these materials relatively quickly um guys yeah this is like great buff for your, for your character but working on your bonds uh working on your gear leveling up the characters is so much more important than actually leveling up your skills because it will take a little bit longer time until you can do this i'm not sure can we get the material here no okay so we go here normal challenges hall of illusion this is the place where you're going to be able to grind plenty of this material and you're going to be able to level up your skill for each of those characters again leveling up leveling up your skill will take some time and you should know who you should uh prior prioritize overall because at the end of the day you won't be able to level up every single character you use immediately okay this is the one place the other place which is even better in the bond patrol so if i go in one of those missions each of those um, worlds will give you <clears throat> 10 of a uh, shard of will a 10 of fragment of will and then additional 10 crystal of will if you do it 27 star also you will get additionally the bond box which you can increase your bond uh, tremendously go check out my guide how to awaken a character to the lr in the fastest possible way and you're gonna learn that this is the place where you're gonna get so much materials where you can level up your bond level pretty fast okay so this is the place where you're gonna grind for the bonds and the for the leveling up your crystals uh, for skills okay really fast nothing too crazy gear we're gonna leave gear for the end and hence uh, is the place where you use your duplicates for your character for example some characters got buffed on global so for example asta level 2 i will get another additional boost and level 5 another additional passive you know so that's a really nice thing overall uh, with the duplicates you are getting enhanced passives i don't know does every, i believe some get that enhanced passive someone doesn't it just depends but you can check it out always here and then uh, here you're increasing the overall stats with the duplicates definitely helpful also you have this versatile mage piece that you can get just by grinding the game you will get it and you can use this as a duplicate 
I'm not sure maybe even now I could uh, get that. Let me just see mission. Is it here? Intermediate. Then advanced. Yeah, in advanced. After doing this, uh, you will get that material. Okay. Versatile mage piece. And yeah, you need to know like where to use him. Save him for now when you get it. Save him for now. Okay. Mm -mm. And that's about the duping system. You need to get dupes. I mean, it's 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 obvious. Okay, let's go back to this. Uh, we have the talents. For now, I I, I didn't even start uh, unlocking the talents. Use you can use black crystals to unlock it, but also you can unlock it by grinding uh, these parts. Okay, you need to these items to unlock the talents. Talents. You go for the attack, defense, support depending what do you need for now i still didn't work on this i definitely will really really soon but for now like i said i'm working on my gear but this is also a really decent way to upgrade your character although overall i'm not still familiar with it how much buffs your character overall but i definitely recommend slowly that we should start working on the talents because definitely every single buff and increase of combat power will be necessary okay so that's about that simple like nothing too complicated here okay let's go to the mages now we have other thing and this is bond bond is something that i already um explained a while while back pretty much by gr using the character in the game you're gonna increase the level of the bond um also by going in the bond patrol this is by 20 if you 27 star if you get 27 stars on each of those stages, um, I believe definitely you can uh, level up and LR your character super, super fast. There is also other ways when you play the game, you will get that uh, material where you can like send the gifts and furthermore enhance the level. That's pretty much that bond level is super straightforward and uh, definitely you should do that for your main characters as soon as possible. You need to play it with them, etc. Also of course connected with the bond to actually awaken the character you will need enhancement materials and other things right so you can level it up properly but that's about the bond system okay and we have level up level up is like super important um how to grind um how to level up really really fast uh let me go here in the challenge this is how i've done it so pretty much I grind, grind, grind until here I'm a little bit stuck. Today I will beat this and then I will grind it here. In the beginning you won't be able, like you're gonna start here, here, here. It is recommended that you don't grind a lot of these, okay? Don't put a lot of these in repeat. Always go on that stage where you get like better price. And there I recommend now go um, out to run it and everything else, okay? And then furthermore you will see boom this is the next stage where i recommend that you like grind it because again you get that extra you get that higher rarity mage exp material which you can like use to level up your characters extremely fast and boom 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 and now i'm waiting pretty much i want to grind this one so mage exp lr mage potion appears and this is where i will grind the the material to level up my characters so always go for the progress here always go to the higher and higher higher and higher harder and harder stages because then they it will give you a lot more materials now for example uh i i managed to beat this but i still cannot beat it on auto should i go like every time do a run do a run do a run do a run no mainly i believe here we can even use the skip tickets so after beating one time i advise you using the skip tickets here um especially if you cannot auto run it so by using the skip tickets you're gonna like do it everything like super super fast okay it will be super super fast for you and that's a, an amazing thing and this is how you're gonna level up really fast but please do not waste your skip tickets um, and please do not waste your time on grinding this like low 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 uh, rarity potions if you can grind the high rarities okay just like don't always go for the progress because at the end of the day you want to get the highest rarity potions so you can level up your characters also le leveling up will happen automatically also as you play with the characters and now at the end we have gear hey, let's be 
gear i'm still working on it i started with the four set and two sets but as far as i know right now it's better to create two sets of the gear it will be like better and everything will look so much better overall your main goal is to start grinding lr gears and they they're gonna give you the massive massive buff uh, when you have when you unlock the ur gear again again you wanna grind ur gear so you can apply it on pretty much every single character in the game and i believe this is like super super necessary now gears is something that i'm not master of it overall i I always had certain pro i will be honest i had certain prob problems with gears and everything else so i'm still learning on that part gear sets in black Clover mobile are split into basic and advanced ones you can recognize the advanced gear sets by golden border surrounding it right here the advanced gear set starts to dropping after 10 stage of each gear dungeon okay again grinding gear is super important like i already mentioned that million times here is where you grind the gear mainly now grind the dungeon power gear because here you're gonna get defense gear attack gear and speed gear which is like the most important gears for your character progress as further as possible and unlock this stage with the lr gear as soon as possible today i got my blue yami for free from the season one uh thingy and yeah here it is i after working on the blue yami i'll be able to beat this and then i'll be grinding the lr gear as well if you're on a ur gear grind the ur gear again it will be extremely extremely helpful so you should do that for 100 percent let's go back to private.gg this is basic this is advanced gear with this golden border this will give you much bigger stats and this is like okay here it shows actually now using the pridewind.gg i can perfectly understand it but when i was doing it alone i even started recording the uh, guide for gears and i was like bro i'm not sure <laughs> i'm not sure time to learn <clears throat> so advanced gear sets like i said it is two sets and four sets as you can see right here me myself like i already said on the asta i have two and a four set here so if i go here if we go on the gear i have four sets and then two sets it would be better i create like four with two sets okay i believe that will be definitely better for my um for my asta as dps so here it is four is damage plus 15 percent but two set it is attack plus seven percent and m attack plus seven percent okay this is for the red dungeon this is where you you get it crit rate is the blue dungeon then we have green dungeon etc as you can see red dungeon is the speed defense and attack and that's why for now mainly we are grinding this set okay and that's why i will talk about so this set when i set like two set defense plus 30 and uh, four set is defense plus 40 and endurance plus eight best dungeon to farm blah 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 so here is pretty much it show us each of those gear sets what they're giving us so two sets and the four sets for that type of the gear so here in my case i'm getting damage plus 10 percent right yeah eh, it would be better if i go here that i create like a two set okay so mainly i should use like him this and this and maybe i should remove this too then i have the defense part and then I, sh I should also work on this other two types okay but i will see i'm still working on it this is how far i figured out that that i should do things but yeah creating like two sets i i, I, I can see you get so much more overall okay because at the end of the day you will have more sets if that makes sense okay but without complications right now i just want to inform you like this then i will learn further more about this of course you can like level up your gear upgrade your gear enhance your gear which will tremendously enhance your stats you can play around for now i'm placing it like this although i will probably create two sets two sets rather than four sets for each of the this set okay i will see but this is like really important always put the high rarity gear if you if you have the set properly and everything else always i mean that's logical always put that high rarity gear of course and yeah 
get to the LR farming as soon as soon as possible. Okay, guys, that's it. Hopefully, you did enjoy the video. Hopefully, it was helpful. This is all the things how you can increase your your combat power and my combat power is around 130k currently let me just check out i'm now really close to finish fifth chapter this is a little bit harder mission and then i believe i have also sixth or it's only like five chapters i don't know i don't know i don't know i want to uh, we're gonna see but i just want to show you quickly my team No, 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 no. Okay, we're gonna wait until he climbs. Let's see now. Yeah, I believe it is around 130k. Oh, come on, how much are you gonna need to walk now? Okay, sorry, let me just do this. I didn't know he's gonna need to walk so long. Yeah, 134k. When I work on my gear furthermore and uh l arm are other characters that's easy 150k for me easy 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 i just need to get to that l r gear and i'm perfectly fine so overall i'm doing everything great i just need to work on that sets of the gear that i'm trying like to figure it out completely uh, and also when i get the advanced gear this is where uh, the fun will start but definitely i still find that grinding gear is super annoying and a little bit hard i just want to see this so if i remove let me remove this one like this one is giving me so let me actually let me remove this one unequip and let me i remove okay as you can see now it's like a two set okay and let me remove this one for example unequip now i have two sets of that uh, ancient mage mage relics and you can see what um those additional stats that i'm getting from this okay now i can play around with other ones and create a few more sets like this one okay interesting i will play around with this and then i'll make like a full guide and see how i'm gonna do this but yeah definitely need to do a little bit more more uh, learning about the gear and uh, that's that guys love you i hope you did enjoy it see you next one bye